With several small rides around the area to familiarize myself with the terrain, I feel like I'm ready to do a mini epic. It's time to do the full loop, skirting the perimeter of wilderness all through Metolius Basin to wiggle our way back to Subtle Lake Trail, which firmly puts us with a hot shower and home base. I have no idea how this is gonna turn out. The numbers on paper look very manageable, but the reality of this could be something entirely different. Let's see how this one shakes out. Cold as hell and pouring rain this morning. But from what I gathered from the forecast, it's gonna lighten up and hopefully not be rainy. I took the chance and went with no rain gear because I didn't want to spend the whole day with rain gear on, not in the rain. But it'd probably be worse to be in the rain all day without rain gear. So yeah, calculated risks. <laughs> uh. Because of all the rain, I decided to build the route real quick on Ride With GPS so that my map wouldn't disintegrate if it rained a bunch. So the route is in the descriptions if anybody wants to run it or do it or, yeah, I don't know, it's just there. Man, life's so much easier when your computer tells you when to turn instead of having to stop and look at a map every 10 minutes. Hell yeah. Uh-oh. <laughs> So windy and there's a decent amount of climbing on this thing it's like a one-two punch to the head holy moly the wind's actually pushing the bike around a lot it doesn't make it easy but it does make it interesting <laughs> hey we're 4,000 feet and there is no snow on the ground it's time to go down Now that's a descent. Holy cow. Massive tailwind, perfect grade, chunky enough. That I'll take good care of you. Just you wait and see. I promise that's how it'll be. A peaceful life, a happy destiny. I'm eating a bunch of candy right now because I'm psyched out because of the big ass six mile climb we got to do. Basically 3,000 feet in six miles. <laughs> okay, I just got that, whoa. Begin at junction three, ride south on the 14 for a half mile, then turn left onto the 1490. Are you ready? This is the steepest ascent, uphill for approximately six miles and 2,700 feet of elevation. If you're not completely exhausted when you reach the top, catch the Green Ridge Trail at junction four and head to Black Butte. That's the plan. One of the things that is so magical about cycling and going on rides specifically is it's the perfect practice and example of the journey is the destination. So in a sense, cycling is a terrific metaphor for the journey of life. Too much? <laughs> Wilderness. So here's the scenario. The derailleur hanger on the bomb track was bent before this ride. I bent it back, got everything lined up, and it works perfectly. Climbing up the 1490. Popped into the big ring, threw it right into the spokes. The derailleur hanger appears to be bent yet again. There's a couple things that could happen. I leave it for the rest of this ride and just deal with the glitchy shifting. I bend it back and run the risk of it snapping under pressure because it's been back once already, or it'll fix itself. 
which is highly unlikely, but would be pretty cool. Now there's something I think I should say. I love you more every day. If I didn't have my computer, I would have kept going down this road, which goes down the east side of this ridge into who knows what. So let that be a lesson to myself. Man, loading the route on your computer makes a huge difference. I've been looking for love. I've been looking for love. Ooh, I just figured out what I'm gonna have for dinner tonight. Pretty obvious choice. Pizza! Holy shit. Oh. You fell out of my pocket like three miles ago. So I had to cry, cry back up this hill in hopes that I would find it and joyous day. That's a lake. Way the hell out there. Endless trails out here. like 30% harder than I expected. <sighs> I'm saying, I think that could be an o and route. That thing was awesome. Epic vistas, tons of single track, winding gravel, all kinds of terrain, exhausting. Stoked I didn't run into any snow or panthers or lions or tigers or bears. 40 degrees the whole time. And the ride by the numbers, five hours, 15 minutes, 55 miles and 5,256 feet of elevation. Whew. That was heavy. Oh, yeah, my